What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Brandon Lester Fishing. I know it's been a while, everybody. I've got several uh, replies and messages here the past few days. Where in the world have you been, man? We need more videos. Well, let me show you a little bit about what I've been working on, explain to you uh, what's going on, <laughs> why I just quit post posting videos all of a sudden. So what happened with the videos was uh, I thought it was going to be a little harder to sell my boat this year. I'll be honest with you. Um, so I put my boat up on the market right after I posted that last video, which was uh, back before Christmas. And I sold my boat within the first week. So one good thing about running a Phoenix boat. This is my 11th one that I just got. Y'all can see it right here. I'll turn around in my shop. That's my 11th Phoenix. That's my brand new boat right there. I just got it a couple weeks ago. Um, but one good thing about running a Phoenix, man, is you, you can get rid of them. You know, they, they sell really, really quick. But I was thinking, you know, with, with the market this year, the way it is, in, interest rates are a little higher. I didn't figure it would sell as quick as it did. Well, it did. It, it sold in like less than a week. So I was without a boat for a few weeks. Um, and then when I got this boat, after, right after the first of the year, I basically had to throw everything in it, head down to Lake Okeechobee uh, for the first tournament of the year. I had to get my graphs rigged. Uh, we had a huge snowstorm like the right after the like the second week of January, something like that. So I couldn't get to Kentucky to get my graphs rigged. So everything just kind of uh, piled on top of me there. I, I didn't have, I mean, I've got buddies with boats and stuff, but I had a lot of stuff here around my shop. You can see this wall right here behind me, my trophy wall. I wanted to build that. I built myself a little bar right here. Let me get out here. I want to show you guys kind of what I did in my shop. I got the cowhide rug right there. Built myself a little bar in my shop. Just uh, just some little odd and end stuff that I needed to do um, around the house. And so that's what I've been up to. I'm sure everybody's been wondering, man, where the heck did Brandon go? But uh, we'll get back to doing some more videos. I have switched over, you know, obviously I make a living bass fishing on the, on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Our crappie fish in the fall. I know I got a lot of people that watch for crappie content. I got a lot of people that watch for bass content. I got a lot of people that just like to fish and that's where I stand on it. Uh, whether you like to bass fish, crappie fish, if you'll follow along, I'll do my best to try to teach you. Uh, that's the only promise I can make, but, um, I just try to put good stuff out there. I try to keep it positive. There's enough negative in this world. I try to keep it positive on my channel and, uh, just hardcore fishing stuff, man. And outdoor stuff because I'm an outdoorsman. As a matter of fact, I'll show you something right here that, um, that I've been working on a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna get into reloading. Um, I've, I've told on here before, you know, I enjoy guns, I own several guns, I go to the shooting range quite often. So I bought me a, uh, a reloading kit. That's something, that's something else, actually another project I worked on. I built me a bench over here, kind of a workbench. I'm gonna get in, kind of try to get into reloading a little bit. Uh, it's something I've always thought was cool. Uh, my dad used to reload some uh, when I was a kid, and I messed around with it a little bit in the past, and I got several friends that do it. So that's something else I'm working on. But uh, just mainly been, you know, messing around, trying to get everything ready for the season. I did fish the Bassmaster Open uh, last week down at Lake Okeechobee. I finished 53rd out of 225 boats, I think it was. So I had a decent event down there, not great, but uh, not what we wanted, but definitely a decent event. It's it's funny. Um, I caught tons of fish. I, I never had a big bite, really. The first day I had 11 and a half pounds, so caught mostly males. And then the second day, I had 16 and three quarters, so I had a lot better day on the second day. Um, but yeah, we're getting everything tidied up. I got the first two Bassmaster Elite Series tournaments. I actually have to leave on Valentine's Day. Um, and head to texas we're going to toledo bend lake fork those two are back to back and then i'll head straight from lake fork to santee cooper in south carolina to fish the second bassmaster open of the year so busy schedule that's what i've been up to but it's all good man this is uh it's still a dream come true to get to fish for a living so it's all good i'm certainly not complaining i hope you guys are doing good i just wanted to hop on here and kind of tell you what's going on where i've been um, and I'm actually shooting this video on my iPhone. I, I've always done the GoPro thing. I've got, I use 
iMovie, I've got a Mac at my house, but I want to get comfortable with shooting YouTube videos and posting off my iPhone. That way I can do it while I'm on the road and it won't be that big of a deal. I've had several people ask me this winter if I do all my own editing. Yes, I told you guys from the get-go, I plan, unless this thing just blows out of proportion one day, I plan to do all this on my own. Uh, I'm not really a guy that wants to hire a big production crew. That's not what I'm looking for in my channel. Uh, I want it to be hardcore, straight up, fishing, outdoor, cool stuff. So that's what we're shooting for. And that's what I've been up to. Uh, I appreciate you guys following along, watching. Um, check us out on the Elite Series this year. It should be a good year. I like the schedule. Uh, I like what's going on. I feel like I'm, I'm fishing good. I have been bass fishing quite a bit here lately. Um, at that open, I made good decisions. I fish clean. I just, I was in the right area. As a matter of fact, I just didn't get any big bites. Um, and, and sometimes that's just how fishing goes. But anyway, that's a little update on what I've been doing. I appreciate you guys following along. Appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you real soon. See ya.